Hello everyone and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm bringing you guys a look at some of my never before seen mocks. So some of you might be wondering why you would have never seen any of these builds and that's basically because I started building mocks about a year before I started doing YouTube. So some of these have never been shown before to any of you guys. But basically my point in doing this video besides showing you guys some of my older mocks is that I plan to do a type of tier list sometime in the near future where I basically go ahead and kind of go through and rate all of my builds I've ever done. So I decided to show you guys some of these ones that haven't been shown before so you guys can go and end up helping me rate them whenever I do my live stream. But that's about all the background information on that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So here's a look at the first mock I ever built. And this one took me a while to build. I, I If I remember correctly, it took me about five months, I believe. And none of these will be on any specific planet. I didn't really have that in mind when building these. So I don't really have an exact name for the for you know where I decided to build this. But I just basically used some reddish brown plates and some simple plant work. I had a nice stream in there as well with a little bridge. And kind of have the droids attacking the clone base there as well. We've also got a little interior in here as well. We've got a spot for eating as well as a little spot for a speeder bike. And then up at the top, we've also got a little command center. So it's obviously not the greatest build in the world, but I think it came out pretty fantastic, especially considering it was the first mock I've ever built. So moving along to my next build, this one actually I managed to build in just a month according to the dates that I took my pictures. And this one goes all the way back to July 26th of 2015. And this time I decided to go for a little bit of a different terrain style. I decided to do some rock work as well as put some sand and some dark tan in there as well. As you can see, we just got a couple staps and droids coming out of the ocean there. And we've also got some clones on a swamp speeder coming out of the base through that little door there. And then of course we got some commando droids up at the top kind of over those vents as well. And if we take a look inside, you can see that we've got a little spot for bark speeders and another spot where the clones can kind of sleep and eat and just kind of chill out. But the interior on this one definitely looks a whole lot better. It's a lot cleaner, use a lot more light gray than the previous base as well, which I think looks a whole lot better. So my next build is just another month after that on September 19, 2015. I don't know if this, I don't know exactly how accurate that is. I don't feel like I was able to crank these out in just a month, but next one we go a little bit bigger. I've gone for a kind of simple, massive droid base. And obviously this one is clearly inspired by a Chris production base from back in the day. We've got a, a big battlefield with a ton of grass. And as you can see, I actually ran out of grass. So I was only able to fill up half of the base plates. But then we've also got an ATT in there and some clones kind of attacking the droid base. We've got a, a massive door on that as well. And then inside, it's a very simple thing. We just got some, some of those grill plates just as the ground, a little tile runway, I guess, with some, some different vehicles and droids working about. And you guys can also see how the roof is extremely flimsy. I just used some simple plates to build that. So I'm pretty lucky that it didn't end up falling over, but that just about does it for this build. I definitely went for more of a bigger build this time than some of my other ones where I went for a little bit of a smaller one, but with a little bit more detail. So yeah, not my favorite build I've ever done, but I think it was kind of a step into doing some bigger mocks further down the road. So my next build is a couple months later and I'm pretty sure this had something to do with Kashyyyk or I got some sort of inspiration from there because it's very Kashyyyk-like terrain, but I have another stream running down the middle with another bridge across, which this one looks a whole lot better than the first one I ever, for on my first mock. We also got a huge mountain there, and this one did take me a little bit longer. This one took um, a couple months, as I said, and this one dates to about January 30th of 2016, so this one did take me a little bit longer than some of my other builds, but it's kind of understandable with the with the huge mountain, of course, and some of the rock work along the stream as well. We've also got a pretty massive base on the inside, and of course, that flimsy looking roof again. But we've got some nice wall detailing around there this time, and we've also got a really cool looking spiral staircase, which I'm a fan of, with some control panels and another spot for them to eat, the clones to eat. And we've also got up some storage area down there as well for some swamp speeders and other things like that. So I have to say this is one of my favorite earlier builds. I definitely love the uh, the huge mountain that I ended up building and of course we got some cool stuff on the top as well with the the viewing and stuff so so I think you can pretty clearly tell that this is one of my better builds of this time. So my next build we go back to sand It's kind of a pattern here but this one it dates to February 27th of 2016. So this one I also built extremely quickly after my last one. And I do believe this this base has some of the best out, outwards details. I did another droid base here. We've also got that kind of laser gate there, which looks really cool. We've also got, we've got another stream here in kind of a sandier environment. We got some 
different troopers going in with an ATRT fallen there as well. And then we've also got a snot roof, so I definitely learned to make it, how to make it a little bit more sturdy. We've also got that droid gunship and AAT up there as well, which looks really, really cool. But there was a huge problem with this build, and I remember hating it and just kind of kind of put this build aside and kind of quickly finished it. There was there were some more things I wanted to do with it, but there's not really a good picture of it, but inside, like, structurally, the walls weren't really connecting super well. I believe it's because I have it on one of these tables, which isn't super flat, so the bricks weren't, weren't able to fully connect together, so that kind of messed up with me trying to do some things, so I kind of rushed this build along towards the end. But I think this build came out great. I love the outwards kind of details. I've also got some pretty, a pretty cool looking interior as well. But that's going to about wrap it up for this video. If you did go on to enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a like. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.